Genevieve, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. First, congratulations. You are the Snow Queen on what is considered tradition, not just in Toronto, but around the world, the Nutcracker with the National Ballet of Canada. How does it feel being bestowed this type of honor? Thank you so much for having me. This honor has been amazing. It's only my uh, second year with the company. Um, and I'm a second soloist now. So just being able to perform on stage by myself and with um, my two other icicles, it's been amazing to work with and on and just a great challenge that I'm ready to step up for. You know, it's like I said, it's such a tradition. Can I just ask a little bit of your background and how you got into ballet and reaching the heights that you have uh, today? Sure. Uh, my mom was a ballet dancer for a little while. Um, she owned a small studio in Michigan, and that's where I started when I was quite young. After that, I went to Na uh, Canada's National Ballet School for two years. And then from there, I joined the National Ballet of Canada as an apprentice and then did one year there or here and then got um, accepted into the core. And here I am. Here you are with this tradition. Now, I have been lucky enough to gone to see the uh, the Nutcracker. In fact, several years ago, I was one of the celebrity clowns. So I got the fire <laughs> off the cannon. But for folks who have never had the chance to be at this amazing show, describe what the Nutcracker is, please. Of course. So in the Canada's National, or Canada, sorry, the National Ballet of Canada's version, um, it's choreographed by James Cadelka in 1955 follows the story of two children, their siblings, and they um, are bickering. And Nikolai gives Misha um, and Marie a nutcracker. And in that night, it um, turns into a magical land and the nutcracker takes them through the glittering um, Snow Queen's realm, which is where I will be, and then into the Sugar Plums uh, um, palace where there are often other dances and um, they go through trials and it's a metaphor for growing up and so they just follow an adventure with fun characters and it's a beautiful show with lots of beautiful scenery and props that's what I was again to me there are four elements to this one what you just described was the story i'm going to go to the next one the dance the dance is so beautiful in each section it's so graceful i mean physically though what is it like to do that because we watch and we just go in awe but i could not imagine what the body is going through <laughs> night after night and i think you guys don't just do one show you may be doing two shows there we go exactly absolutely we do have multiple days where we do double shows and it is quite hard on the body but there's nothing that compares to standing in front of an audience and being able to give yourself to an art form. So that just makes up for all of it. Yeah, absolutely. So now the third part to it, the effects. Like, for example, behind me, the beautiful egg. There are many, many great effects. I don't want to give too much away if somebody's never gone to it, but can you give me one or two of them, please? Yes, um, so in the snow scene, uh, to create the snow effect, they have in the like rafters um, these um, pieces of uh, fabric that like twist, and that helps the paper snow come down in a in a sort of whimsical way. So it's not all at once, but you know it comes down as snow would fall. It's amazing. Like I said, people have to be there. The fourth is the music. Because the song, the, the music that you hear, some people may have heard for generations and not realize a lot of the music was coming from the Nutcracker. Yes, Tchaikovsky is an amazing composer. It was one of his last full-length ballets that he composed. And to hear the orchestra um, play it live is another another feeling that's <laughs> like no other. Not even just the dancing, but if you just come to hear the orchestra, it's wonderful. Yeah, mine so is the, still the Sugar Plum Fairy. I, I do, 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 do. 
<laughs> can yeah. never get enough of that, though. Now, I'm just curious because I did mention about how I was lucky enough to be, and it's been a sort of like a tradition, celebrity clowns. Are they going to be doing that this year? And I'm just curious, only because of the way COVID is, there's probably a chance that they won't be doing it this time around. Of course. Unfortunately, for the safety of everyone, this year we have decided not to use um, celebrities. Um, they're actually called Cannon Dolls. Cannon Dolls, um, yeah. Yes. Um, so, but we're going to use National Ballet staff. Um, so, our repertoires, um, many people throughout the um, organization will be able to part participate. Well, it was still fun to dress up, to go out there, get all nervous, boom, fire off the cannon and off the stage. It was one of the definite highlights in my career, too. Uh, when is the show running from what to what? The show is running from December 10th through the 31st. It'll be before Christmas and a few dates after Christmas. Sounds like it's going to be fun. Like I said, it's so much of a tradition. But as we wrap this up, for folks who have never gone, what would you want to say to them? Because, you know, and I'll admit this, years ago I was just like, ah, me go to ballet, I ain't going to go to no ballet. I can't get enough of it because it is so inspiring to see. What would you say to somebody who had the attitude I had before to say, yeah, you know what, I think it's something you want to check out? I would say just keep an open mind. Like it's, if you don't know much about dance, that's okay. There's still a lot of, for you to take in the scenery, the different props that we use. There's lots of moments that um, are funny and have comedic value to them. Again, just along with the dance, you get the beautiful um, music that is live there in front of you, which is I would say if they haven't been like that's a new something that you've never experienced before and it would be really really good <laughs> cannot wait thank you so much for taking time out to speak with me I cannot wait to see this again it is pure magic and what a way to bring smiles on people's faces after two years of uh, you know a tough time this I think is a great way to enjoy life again thank you so much for your time for the interview thank you so much